So, this feels weird. Bear with me. I'm new to making Dragon Ball Super content, but it seems as if the Cell Max Saga is over. We're going to be moving on to the next arc. It seems uh, the next chapter next month. So, I just wanted to talk about that fight with Goku and Vegeta, man. I was like, I was tearing up. Broly was tearing up. <laughs> That's what made me want to make the video for this video. And, um, uh, yeah, overall, I I don't know what to really say about the arc. You know, it was it was interesting. It was fun to read it because I didn't watch the movie. I didn't watch the superhero movie. I may watch it now because I watched all the other super movies. But this is the first movie that I got to read in the manga first before watching the actual film. So uh, I just wanted to say it, it just felt like a Dragon Ball ending. Everyone's cheering and celebrating in the end pants and learning how to fly she already's flying around and shit it all adds up because at the end of z we find out that pan flies around the earth in record time you know she flies around the earth multiple times or whatever but um yeah cell max was an interesting version of cell because i'm so used to cell being articulate this one was just pure rage personified and it was just like yo what in the world is going on? How are they going to beat this guy? You know, it's Gohan fires his light of death, the, the Piccolo-inspired move, and Cell blows up. You know, uh, if, if in case motherfuckers wanted to know how I felt about this being a repeat of Gohan versus Cell, you know, Beast Gohan looking like Super Saiyan 2, it was not like it at all because there was no... Well, there was a power clash, but eventually... Gohan's move worked. What? I'm not even gonna talk about that because people be trolling. They be talking about it's just a repeat. And by people, I mean people in the Discord, man, the troll syndicate. <laughs> uh, you know, it it wasn't a repeat, man. It is. It wasn't. But um, yeah, this was an interesting arc, man. It was fun. If I had to say what describes this arc, fun. It was a fun arc. A good read. Uh, Vegeta finally beats Goku. I was tearing up again, man. Like in that panel with Broly and um, the other guy, the ex Frieza chef or Frieza, the guy who's going to be cleaning and cooking for Beerus now. He, um, he was tearing up too. And I was like, yep, that's uh, Toriyama did it again, man. Or what's his name? Toyo Taro? One of them, whoever the writer of Super is. I was like, how? That is excellent writing. Like, how could you predict? That the readers would be tearing up and you already had the characters set in place to tear already tearing up like yo it's the freaking goku versus vegeta fairest fight of all time they're base form no explosions and none of that nah that shit was lit man and vegeta finally gets his win after all these years of enduring the l's from goku's transformations goku just finding ways to surpass the saiyan limits and vegeta finally gets his fair one so that shit was awesome um amazing chapter and i can't wait to see what the next arc is going to bring wis finally took his time to answer bulma's call but they already handled everything with cell max and um it just looks like toriyama toriyama or toyotaro whoever the writer is uh is highlighting that it may be time for the next generation to become the defenders of Earth because they didn't have access to Goku or Vegeta. And Piccolo even said he doesn't even know if Goku and Vegeta would have been able to defeat Cell Max. So, yeah. Um, I'm not quite accustomed to making Dragon Ball Super content, but I'll get there, you know. Um, still a fan of the series. Amazing chapter. Um, so, yeah. Thank you all for watching. Zoom here, and I'll see you all in the next video.